What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're good. Uh, I'm starting a new series, so bodybuilding slash weight training, but with a limited amount of equipment. So if you are training at a CrossFit box, you're a weightlifter or you're a powerlifter, and you only have barbells and dumbbells, but you don't have resistance machines, I'm going to show you how I train, incorporate bodybuilding style training in a CrossFit box that you can implement to your training and explain why I do certain things in certain ways. So I hope you guys find a lot of the information useful and you can implement it into your training. Let's go. Okay guys, so we are going to start with push-ups. Now, before we even get to push-ups, make sure you guys spend at least five to 10 minutes doing some shoulder mobility before you start training. So have a look at my video. I'll try and put the link to my YouTube video for some of the upper body mobilities you can apply or my Instagram video. So yeah, the aim of the push-ups is to do about 50 reps. That's right, 50. No half rep in these. I'm talking four solid reps all the way down to the floor and back up. Now just watch how my elbows are slightly closer to my body and not aligned with my delts. This puts less pressure on delts and focuses on chest and make sure you are close to the ground that you can almost kiss the ground when you're going down into the uh, when you're going downwards don't have your elbows too close to your body however as that means more emphasis on triceps which is what we don't want so not too close and again not aligned too far out with your shoulders the whole idea is to pre-exhaust the chest before the main workout I've always done this before training chest I usually do press ups or cable flies I find that it's the triceps and shoulders that fatigue before your chest so uh, before your chest when training however pre-exhausting the chest means it will fatigue equally so we are now on to the bench press before we start benching I want to emphasize that this workout is all about time under tension, no ego lifting, focus on tempo and also focus on contracting the chest every single rep. Each set the tempo changes so make sure you don't go too heavy on weight as you will understand why when we get to the workouts. So let's begin. So with the bench press we will be aiming to do four sets on the bench press and then we will be supersetting with dumbbell incline flies. So with the first set on the bench press we will be doing 15 reps at a two second eccentric tempo. What that means is when bringing the bar down towards your chest it will take you two seconds so count it out loud if you need to or count it in your head one two and all the way back up as you can see in the video. And then after 15 reps, we will be supersetting with dumbbell flies with a two second eccentric and a one to two second squeeze of the dumbbells at the top of the movement. Again, as you can see in the video, with the dumbbell flies, we will be doing 12 reps on all four sets. So you'll be supersetting every time you do a bench press. Every set, you will superset with the dumbbell flies. And so we're back onto the second set on the bench and we are aiming for a three second tempo. The second set of the bench press and the third set we're aiming for 12 reps at a three second tempo. And again, watch how slowly I'm going with the bar on the eccentric, making sure to maintain tension on the chest. With the fourth set, we will be doing 10 reps at a five second tempo. Now remember I told you about not going too crazy with the weights. Now with a five second, yes, five seconds, 
um, that makes it a lot more challenging so some of you are probably wondering why slow so why am I going so slow on the eccentric well the longer we can keep the muscle under tension the more muscle fibers we are recruiting to assist the movement which which leads to hypertrophy hence the longer you can keep the muscle under tension the better Now we are on to third exercise which will be the pyramid dumbbell press flat bench superset with dumbbell twist flies I know that sounds weird but I will explain that in the video so we'll start with the pyramid press I have always done the pyramid press because it puts less strain on my delts and also allows me to fully contract my chest at the top of the movement Make sure to keep the elbows at a slight angle and not aligned with your delts. We are aiming for a two second eccentric and a, I would say one to two second hold at the top of the movement. Make sure, as you can see in the video, to focus on squeezing both dumbbells together as you can see my chest fully contracts when I do that. So when you come down and you go up again, squeeze the dumbbells for two seconds why squeezing the dumbbells well if you squeeze the dumbbells that automatically contracts your chest so you don't have to actually contract focus on your chest when you're uh, at the top of the movement focus all your attention on those dumbbells and that would again as you can see in the video squeeze your chest together now we're on to dumbbell twist flies the difference with these and a normal a normal dumbbell flies are you will be twisting the ends of both dumbbells together as you can see I'm doing in the video and as you can see with my chest it's fully contracted when I do that so really squeeze the dumbbell together to get a full contraction on your chest on both these movements we are aiming for two second eccentric on the first and second set and a one to two second squeeze of the dumbbells at the top of the movement so at the top of the movement you want to hold it for one to two seconds and then when you go in back down into the eccentric phase you want to take about two seconds and then when you get to the third set you want to take a three second eccentric and a one to two second squeeze at the top and I put an alternative for you guys also so this will be on the floor so if you have shoulder issues or you tend to overextend at the bottom of the movement on the bench trust me it makes a big difference I actually like to do both so alternate with bench and the floor or you can do bench one week and then do these movements on the floor the next week And the next exercise we'll be doing ring press ups supersetting with bench dumbbell close grip press now with the ring press ups again the same principles with normal press ups elbows bring your elbows in close to the body but not too close so and but you don't also want it to be too wide so it shouldn't be aligned with your shoulders um, aiming for a two second eccentric and push back up as quick as you can these are tough but really good for also working on stability so expect it to feel strange at first um, and you will probably shake a little bit when you start doing this but you will get used to it eventually and also to make it slightly more difficult I have given you a second version which is feet elevated with a bench or you can use a box 
if you don't have rings where you train putting two benches or two boxes close together does the trick it won't be as hard as using rings but still better than nothing and then we'll be on to supersetting with closed grip dumbbell press now this is an, another one where some of you might not know what how it works but I'm gonna explain to you what to do so hold the dumbbells as you can see in the video close together over your chest elbows close at all times so now this this one you're, you're gonna have your elbows really close to your body when you bring the weight dumbbells down again we're gonna aim for two second eccentric hold for about a second at the top of the movement remember just like the dumbbell pyramid press rather than trying to squeeze your chest at the top of the movement squeeze the dumbbell together as hard as you can like I always say squeeze the hell out of it like it owes you money literally <laughs> aim for about three sets on both the press ups on the rings and the dumbbell close grip press keep the rest pretty short so I'll aim for 40 second rest most of these exercises I'll aim for about 45 to 60 seconds on the rest ranges as well if I haven't put that there, if I haven't um, included that On the fifth and final workout, we're gonna do some decline push-ups. I know what you guys are thinking, this dude loves push-ups, and yes, I do. <laughs> this time we'll be finishing with, again, a decline push-up on a 30 inch box. But so we're aiming for 50 push-ups again. However, we'll be breaking it down by five sets times 10 reps. Few things, uh, keep the rest short between each set so about 20 seconds no more and also like I said in the first push-up make sure you can almost kiss the floor but if like me your chest is twice the size towards the end of a workout make sure your chest touches the floor because that's more likely to touch the floor before your face gets anywhere near the floor so with the first set we're aiming for two second eccentric so one two down and push up the second set we're aiming for three second eccentric the third set we're aiming for four second eccentric so one two three four push up as quick as you can the fourth one we're aiming for five seconds and then on the fifth and final one we're aiming to go as quick as you can Now with this, yes, I, on the fifth one, you're aiming for 10 reps. However, if you can do more than 10, keep going till you literally cannot do any more. So till, till failure. Well, everyone, hope you found this video helpful and hopefully you can implement this into your training. My goal is to bring you workouts that everyone, thank you for watching and hopefully get the next training video out to you soon.